Hi, my name's Shawful and welcome to another one of my videos where I talk about the real world of data. So in this video, I'm going to address should you do data analytics as a side hustle? And this is really geared towards people who probably aren't data analysts but want to get into the data analytics space. And one of the ways that they might want to do this is, is to make data analytics a side hustle. Now, if you're already a data analyst and you want to do data, more sort of an analytics as a side hustle, I would just check with your employer if you're allowed to do that. Now, in my, you know, early in my career when I was sort of junior, mid-level, I did quite a few projects on the side. Those of you who want to do data analytics as a side hustle, hustle, I would highly recommend it. It's really good. Um, there are things, things that you need to avoid and things that you need to do um, in order to make it enjoyable. So the first thing I'd advise is that if you are thinking about doing data analytics as a side hustle, is to avoid projects that are time critical, that are like very short deadlines. Okay, the reason for that is normally if, if a company's come to you um, for, for this project and it's like time critical, um, it, it normally means that there's something wrong internally because they couldn't do it or someone else couldn't deliver it. Or even if it means that they've never done it before, um, you know, and they've come to you, unless you're very familiar with the data and you're very familiar with the company, you will find it really hard to, do, to meet their deadlines, okay? And what you'll end up doing is rushing and when you rush stuff, um, you, you end up having, you know, making mistakes. Um, and then, you know, it, it really does damage your reputation and the client probably won't be uh, thankful uh, for, for you taking on the project if you weren't able to deliver. So anything that's got an urgent uh, deadline or something, I, I, I tend to avoid and I would advise you to tend to avoid, especially in the early days, okay? Later on, you, you might take it on as you get more confident. But in the early days, I would really avoid anything that's really urgent or time critical. The other types of projects I would advise you to avoid are those that are regular, that require to be delivered at a certain time. So if, for example, you need to run a piece of analysis every Monday morning or every Friday evening or whatever day, but it needs to happen at the same time every week, okay? Um, I would try and avoid those only because um, you don't know what's going to happen in your day job, okay? If your day job gets really busy, um, then suddenly what you'll find is that you, know, you don't have time to deliver that and you're going to get stressed and um, unless you've created some form of automation, um, it's going to be really hard to you know, balance both uh, sets of work and deliver both your day job and uh, this side hustle. So try not to um, get wrapped up into delivering sort of regular type work, especially the regular reporting type of work, because what happens, the business becomes quite dependent on the regular stuff and therefore you can't really delay it. You can't say, oh, I'll deliver it next day or two days later because the business will, would have made plans um, to use that data at the time that they receive it. So if you can avoid those, especially in the early days, I would avoid those. The other thing I'd advise is actually choose projects that sit very comfortably within your skill set. So if you're starting off in data analytics and you know a bit of SQL and you know some uh, Excel and stuff, choose projects that sit neatly within those skill sets, okay? Um, and the reason for that is what you don't want to be doing is stretching yourself and stressing yourself, trying to learn new things as a side hustle. Because don't forget, you've still got your day job to do and you need to do that well. Um, so therefore, I would choose things that you can comfortably do within your existing skill sets. Again, later on, you can build your skill sets as you uh, take on more demanding projects. But in the early days, choose things that are um, you know, within your skill set so that you can deliver them comfortably, but also you can deliver them to a high quality. Also, if you can, always try and get an extract of the data, either on your local PC or if they've given you a, a, a remote login or something to a virtual machine on that virtual machine. Try not to be dependent on querying the database um, to get your data. And the reason for that is um, typically you'll be doing your analysis out of office hours or in the weekend. Um, and what you don't want to do is to try and access the database and it's down or it's been you know um, locked out because they're doing some kind of update. Um, and, and then you find that you've lost a day or two because you can't get access to the data. So early on, what you want to do is Say, right, okay, I need this data to run this analysis. Uh, I'm gonna, can I get an extract? So either ask them for an extract, so ask their data warehouse team for an extract, or you extract it yourself. So if you know a bit of SQL, which you should hopefully do, you should be able to extract that data yourself and hold it either, like I said, on your local machine, um, assuming all the GDPR and privacy things are taken, things are taken care of, or on a virtual machine uh, using, you know, um, uh, remote logins to, to get into that. Um, but ideally the data should be in your control so that you can log in and analyze whenever you want to. Another thing I'd advise is that, let's say you take a project and it's four weeks long, okay? So the client says, four weeks, I need this done, okay? Rather than say, oh, you know what, I'm going to set aside a weekend and I'm going to work on this. So, you know, in two weeks' time, I'll set aside a weekend and I'll work on it and I'll get it done. Okay, now I would recommend that you don't do that. I'd recommend, especially again in the early days, is to do things a little bit every day, even if it's a couple of hours every day. I mean, ideally if it's a side hustle, you should be devoting about a couple of hours every day anyway. Um, but you should do it every day. And the reason for that is you don't know what issues you're going to come up with in the data, okay? So sometimes the data, you might find there's some corrupt data in there or you're missing some rows or you need a lookup file. Identifying them early means that you can get back to the client early and you, and, you know, and you can carry on with your analysis, okay? If you waited, let's say, two weeks to work on a weekend, 
going back to the client now and saying, oh, actually, I've just had a time chance to look at the data um, does not look good. Okay, the client will be like, hang on, I gave you this two weeks ago, you're now coming back to me with errors and issues. Uh, you know, why don't you come back to me two weeks when you first receive the data? So even if you can't do everything every day, at least when you get the data, try and spend some time really early on looking at the data, processing it, analyzing it, you know, running, like I said, descriptive statistics. I think another video I mentioned, um, you should really validate the data, run some descriptive statistics on it, uh, validate it with the business that are you seeing in the data what they see in the data, okay? So therefore you just know that you've got the right data and you're analyzing in the right way. But but do that really early on, um, or like I said, do a, a little bit every day so that you spot these things really early and you can go back to the client early in, in the project um, and therefore it looks like it's part and part, part of the process of um, doing the analytics work. And then finally, what I'd advise is that when, when you're doing your side hustle, try and stick to one or two um, or, or a handful of clients, okay? So what you really want to do is you want to, um, you know, uh, have a handful of clients that you do analytics projects for as a side hustle, okay? Um, two things really happen when you have that. One is um, you become really familiar with their data. So every project that you do with them becomes easier because you're just really familiar with their data. You know, you probably can ha have some saved scripts that can uh, audit the data, that can transform the data. You can do that kind of stuff, okay? Uh, the second thing is that you also get familiar with their business so therefore you can add more value so when you're analyzing the data you can think about their business and you can add more value uh, to their business so you know so having a handful of clients is really good chasing a lot of clients um, a takes a lot of time but b means that every time you win a client you're on that learning curve again um, and, and you you know you just keep going around and around and you know it, it's really hard especially if you just want it to be a side hustle um, so ideally try and stick to a handful of clients and try and do a really good job for them so therefore they keep coming back to you and that's a great way of building a portfolio as well as you know having a really successful side hustle and the, for those of you who aren't data analysts that can then lead to a full-time job okay so I know a lot of people who um, have have done analytics as a side hustle um, and then eventually you know they work with one or two clients or one client mainly who's then said would you mind you know doing more and more and eventually they're coming on uh, full-time so you know it, it is a great way also to get into data analytics um, but analytics itself data analytics itself is a great side, side hustle as well. well thank you for watching my video I hope you enjoyed it um, please do comment below um, and please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.